today's video, I'll be reviewing Hilton Tulum All Inclusive. Let's find out if it lives up to the hype. When you first get to Hilton Tulum, you can get yourself a welcome cocktail. Hello, can I get a cocktail? Thank you very much. A great way to say hello. I'm gonna show you the room right over here, 1109. One represents the building number, the next one represents the floor, and 09 represents the room. You need this bracelet to open your door. If you lose this bracelet, it'll cost you $150 US to replace it. So let's use the bracelet here. Let's go in. Over here we have room 1109 and it's connected to room 1110. I'm gonna show you how you can have access to room 1110. Over here you have a little lock. You just unlock it and there you have the other room. Obviously they need to unlock the other room and then the two rooms are combined. Because I'm here with my buddy who's the cameraman, we're gonna keep that lock. Over here, we have the toilet. Nice and clean, straightforward. What can I say? It's a toilet. But I like the fact that you got some frosted glass. Gives you a little bit of privacy. Now the shower here. Really nice shower. I like the fact that it's a rain shower. Here are the controls. You can hang your towel over here. Have a look at some of the soaps they provided. We got some uh, rosemary white tea shower gel. For the people that like a bar of soap, you got a little bar of soap over here. Mm. Smells pretty good. Decent size, especially if uh, you have a romantic evening. Let's continue. You got a coffee machine. I like the fact that they give you three different kinds of coffee pods. You got some tea, a bottle of water, so you can fill up your coffee machine. You don't want to use the tap water. Over here, you got a fridge. Look at all these snacks. Oh yeah, baby. That I find a little bit strange. Why would you put chips in the fridge? You know what? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take the chips out. There's one thing I just noticed, the fridge is not cold. All the beverages are actually pretty warm. That's a little disappointing. So I guess that's why they put the nuts and the chips in there. You got some storage. You got some glasses, ice bucket. You could hang your clothes here. Here you got a bathrobe, hangers, iron, an ironing board, and you got some slippers. I'm gonna use those slippers later because I don't want to get the sand in the room. Come here to sink, some soap, hand towels, hand soap. The one little detail I really like, check this out here, a dental kit. Imagine you're traveling and you forgot your toothbrush. Look at that, a toothbrush and toothpaste. I have no idea what this is. Let's have a look. Oh, check that out. A needle, some uh, thread, a little sewing kit. Another little detail, appreciate that. A shower cap, I got no hair on my head, but uh, nonetheless, there's your shower cap. Curious. Oh, the razor, some shaving cream, pretty smart. Doesn't cost the hotel much, but you know, it elevates it a little bit more. Are you in the reflection? No? Oh, perfect. Let's go. Here you can control your AC. I'm not traveling with my family, so I got two queen beds. Here we got a decent sized television. And if you're looking for the safe, standard business, nothing crazy. Here you got a little bench. Store some stuff over here, which is cool. Storage is always good. Over here, they gave us a beach bag. Let's see what else is inside. Two towels. You got a little table if you wanna order some food. And when you go outside, this is an exclusive pool only for building number one. You got two little chairs. Got some nice plans. Time for me to take a dip. And over here, you got the main pool area that's right behind the lobby. If you want these cabanas here, you need to reserve it with a QR code. Here you have one pool for the enclave, the bar, hello, hello. and another pool. This is only for people staying in casa number one. This pool is always quiet. You have excellent service and you don't got a lot of people around you. As always, if you need towels, just grab it. I love this aspect of all the Hilton hotels. No need to give your room number. Water bottles and towels that you could just grab all by yourself. So over here, you got the kids splash pad area. This is a splash pad area on steroids. Check it all out. You got the big bucket that fills up and then the water splashes down. You got some water gun here. You got a little spray water area. I wish my kids were here, but they got a thing called school and I got to do what I got to do to pay the bills. So even by the kids splash pad, 
You could get these little cabanas. You need to scan a QR code to reserve it. And all over the place, you could find showers to rinse off and jacuzzis. So I just got back from my room after a little dip in the pool and look what I got. Got some cinnamon, chocolate, some cocoa beans, lime salt, this, I'm not sure what this is, and some tequila. Mmm. I told myself I wasn't gonna drink on this trip, but when your host gives you a nice gift, you gotta try it. You don't want to be insulting. Mr. Cameraman, have a drink. Oh, oh that's strong. Ah. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Mm. Excellent. Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sand is all right on the beach, but when you want to get into the water, there's a lot of rocks here. The, I recommend you have these beach shoes all over the beach. You find stuff like that. Check yeah, this out. Right. There is a lot of seaweed. There's no way I'm swimming in that seaweed. You gotta pick up the sargasso and dump it in the back of a truck. It's the only way to get rid of it. We're completely at the other end of the hotel. And if you go there, that is where you have the main lobby and the majority of the restaurants. Nice chill area, well staffed. You don't have to wait long for your drinks. Appreciate that. So Rich, what are your first impressions? I like it, it's nice, it's quiet. Would you bring your family here? Definitely, definitely. To get from the main lobby to this section of the hotel is about a 17 minute walk. If you're too lazy to walk, you could always take a golf cart. But if you're not lazy and you wanna burn some calories, go for a walk, cause God knows, I need to burn some calories. You can keep your kids at the kids club between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. So for all you parents out there, go get your freedom. Check out this kids play area. You got this fake grass here, but you got all these things your kids can climb, swing on, spin on. Absolutely amazing. Oh man, what a great park. I could see my kids playing here all day this park is absolutely incredible look at that we got a big kid up there hopefully he doesn't fall <laughs> so this is the new tesla model this hey, one here is the white tesla <laughs> model yeah i like it on my way to the spa if you want to go to the spa they don't have the spa directly in the hilton you have to go to the conrad spa which is basically owned by the hilton to have access to the hydrotherapy it's about 117 us dollars for the day but if you get a massage it's over 300 dollars, about 320 dollars. i personally think the price is a little steep now this is the enclave registration it's only the people that stay in casa one that have access to the enclave option where they have premium alcohol and a bar. They always have snacks here, which they rotate every four hours to ensure that it's fresh and amazing foods. So here we got a little pastry. Flavor's not bad, but it's a little bit dry. You gotta eat the mangoes. These mangoes are so juicy and sweet. Not like the ones I get in Canada. Now the Eggs Benedict, it tastes good. But when it arrived, it was a little cold. I'm quite pleased that I paid the extra money to have access to the Enclave benefits. I'm here at Cocoma. Cocoma. Is that how to say it? And this is the uh, exclusive section of this hotel we get because of our bracelet and because uh, I paid a little bit more for this place. So the waitress gave us a welcome cocktail. It is a chuchito. Perez is salt with some chili, and this is made with mezcal and pineapple juice. Not bad. Green shrimp ceviche, not bad, but the shrimp is a little bit chewy. And the octopus, nice and tender. Short rib on a, I believe a piece of bread with cheese and some pickled onions. Very good. A little digestive. Sweet, but tasty. So here we got a burger. burger. 
That's a shrimp roll, fish tacos, and yeah. this one is short rib taco. Everything's good. As Samuel Jackson would say, Pulp Fiction. This is a tasty burger. Yeah, this is. So as you can see here, there's another place you can eat at. It's not exclusive to anyone. So that's why there's way more people eating over here. Come here, get some lunch. So over here, we have the shrimp ceviche. Slightly spicy. Grilled shrimp, very good. Shrimp tacos, the burger. And this is the fried fish tacos. The quality of the beef patty is good. So I'm quite happy about that. Azulinda, this is where you could get yourself coffee, 24 hours, and a variety of snacks. Oh boy, check this out. My kids would love this. Look at all these candies, all these different types of uh, chocolate milks. What do you want? Uh, Americano, Malca, cappuccino, latte. Can we get two cappuccinos, please? I think this here is a spicy candy. Mm. Not very good. You get all your pastries here, grilled cheese sandwich, ice cream, make your own coffee if you want. You can step outside and have your coffee outside. Nice seating area here, just looking out at the beach. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. This place is gorgeous. Really, really enjoying this hotel. Nice way to start the morning. I'm just chilling here at La Churreria, other end of the hotel, and it's uh, nice and relaxed. If you want an iced coffee or some dessert or ice cream, this is the place to go. Mm. Oh man, that's strong. Let me add some, uh, some cream to this. It's good, but it's strong, and I'm probably not gonna fall asleep tonight. Some ice cream. This is actually good. If you're looking for some breakfast or dinner buffet, you gotta go to Restaurant Vela. Fruit, breads. Oh, look at that. Honey from a honeycomb. Different kinds of nuts here. Pancake, all the different syrup. Ooh, bacon. You can get your custom-made omelet on the grill or in a pan. So you select your toppings and then you'll throw it in your omelet. Perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Here we got Richard. What do you think of the omelet so far? What could be better than having breakfast outside and you hear the waves crashing from the ocean? Wonderful. So right here behind me, we have the buffet Bella Soup. Here are some pastas, burgers. I have my lechon over here, he's heating it up. Perfect, thank you. Your nachos, a little salad bar, ceviche, and a bunch of fruit. Mm. Very good. Let me try this thing here. It's filled with pork, I believe. Also, also, very good. It's fun. You got all these little treats you can have and a bunch of desserts. Oh, it's a surprise, like a game. I'm pretty sure my kids would love this place. Looks like coconut. It is coconut. Not bad. And if you're looking for some fine dining Mexican food, come to Maxel Restaurant. If you have food allergies, they'll accommodate you. They'll change up the dish a little bit. So for people like my wife who are celiac, you can eat in this restaurant. Complimentary starters. Some guacamole. And habanero sauce. Ooh, spicy, spicy. I got a duck taco. It's a gift from the chef because we're staying at the Enclave, which we paid a little bit extra to stay at. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that a lot. Tortilla soup. Todo, todo, todo. Tastes very corny. So shrimp tacos and cheese, beef tacos that are not made yet. You gotta make it yourself. And some sea bass tacos. My wish taco I like the most, I would say shrimp. Beef, and then the fish. Short rib. Shrimp, Ooh, shrimp. I prefer these than the tacos. That's just my opinion. If you're into Japanese food, you got this Japanese restaurant right behind me, Noriku. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, you gotta show, baby, you gotta show. Ah. Oh, the decor in this restaurant is very nice, I must say. Some chicken protein, some shrimp, and some beef. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Honestly, pretty tender. Let me try the chicken. Chicken is chicken. Shrimp is a little bit overcooked. This is, uh, what is it? Uh, sake sorbet. sorbet. Sake sorbet. And this is uh, mango sorbet. 
call, right? Over here, you have La Luce restaurant. This is the Italian restaurant. Beef carpaccio, really good. Some type of salmon dish, very nice. And burrata. Mm. All three dishes, very good. Chocolate pistachio. And this is the lemon ricotta confit. And that's the tropical biscotti. This is the best one, second, third. So right now I'm at Alma Open Fire Grill. The open fire is gas. But uh, nonetheless, I'm excited to eat some, uh, some meat. Let's find out if this steakhouse is any good. Over here we have the skirt steak. They made me cut it earlier to make sure it was cooked the way I liked it. Mm, not bad. We got a New York steak. Not super tender, but I'm not gonna complain for an all-inclusive. All right, over here I got a, a brownie, apple crumble, and a cheesecake. This restaurant, the steakhouse, has the best dessert. If you're staying near Casa 5 or 6, you can go to this store. The store! If you need some supplies, you'll find another convenience store and you can buy a lot, like way more things over here. This is where you have your entertainment during the evening. So if you have kids and you need to use the bathroom, you can use this family bathroom here. Look at this. A changing bed. Very spacious, very clean. And if you go to any other bathroom, you'll notice that the bathrooms are all well maintained. In this gym, we have a lot of options when it comes to cardio, a lot of cardio machines. But when it comes to weightlifting and weight related machines, not that many options. They don't really have uh, heavy dumbbells. The heaviest dumbbell they have is uh, 50 pounds but I was still able to work out twice this week thanks to uh, my personal trainer. So here are my final thoughts about Hilton Tulum and all-inclusive resort. If you're looking for a place that has great food, amazing service, and when it comes to children, they're able to entertain them all day long, this is the hotel for you. But if you're looking to swim in the ocean, walk on the beach, I'm sorry to tell you, the beaches here are not up to par. If you try to go into the water, you need to to wear water shoes because you might cut the bottom of your feet. But besides that, I would give this hotel 4.5 stars out of five. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other great Hilton videos and make sure to subscribe to this channel because it won't cost you anything.